Energy Shield continuous insulation is compatible with almost any siding or cladding option imaginable. Today we're going to show you a few of those options. One of them for a brick facade, the other for a lap siding. Today we're going to be showing you an option for installing lap siding and a number of other siding products over what's called a rain screen. To create this rain screen, we're going to be using a piece of 1x3 strapping, which I've pre-installed my screws at 16 inch centers. At the bottom of our rain screen cavity, we need to install a drainage vent. There are a number of options available on the market. Now that we have our 1x3s up and installed on our wall, we have to do something to address trim options for our exterior corners. I like to create a rip of 3 quarter inch plywood into an L-shaped outside corner and pre-install my screws. This can then be put over the corner to create solid nailing and fastening for any trim and cladding that goes over it. Now that we have our rain screen cavity created here, we're ready to attach our cladding. One of the benefits of having this strapping here is, is it gives us a solid attachment point for any type of cladding that we want to put over it. And it also has the benefit of creating a drainage and ventilation path, which will help our exterior cladding or siding last longer and any paint and finish put over it also last longer. Energy Shield continuous insulation is available pre-slid at 16 and 24 inch widths for installation with brick ties, or you can use a product like this from Roden House. Thanks for joining us today in our video of how to install a rain screen and cladding over your energy shield. Please check out atlasrwi.com and our other videos for more information.